Hashtag Marokko. ago we sailed to Morocco. It was one of the countries we visited in a 15-month sabbatical where we went sailing. We spent a month in different harbors in the African country and it was one of the best experiences of the trip. But it was also one of the most different. Sailing from Europe over the Strait of Gibraltar. For us, it was not just sailing from one continent to another. For us, it really felt like sailing into a completely different world. When we come from Scandinavia to Morocco, a lot of stuff is different. Very different. What that is so much that is different from here, it is the way people clear themselves. And when you go around in the small gardens, there are very many smells. In plant, there is a smell of dark kruta. In plant, there is a smell of jure. The demands to contact with the authorities are higher than in other countries. The language could be a problem. And maybe a lot of boats don't stop in Morocco because the cultural differences are very big. När vi seglade in till Tangier här och ska gå in i hamnen så var det först väldigt svårt att se var det skulle kunna vara en hamn där fritidsbåtar skulle kunna ligga. Vi såg militärskepp och vi såg fiskebåtar i massor. Men det var några snälla fiskare som pekade in åt vilket håll vi skulle och så. Och där tas vi ju direkt emot av säkerhetsvakter som finns på hamnen. Also, aboard our boat, we didn't totally agree from the beginning if we should stop in Morocco or just pass. When we sailed to the Caribbean, yep. you were not really hooked on sailing to Morocco. No. No? Why not? I think that was because we haven't read about so many people doing it before and it felt like we were going somewhere completely different from where we used to go. So I didn't feel comfortable with that. It was a big step sailing to Africa, I think. And I know the, the religion is different, the culture is different, and all that kind of stuff made me say, no, we go for a safer, safer place that we have been talking about before. We visited different harbors on Morocco's Mediterranean and Atlantic coast. We were both in industrial harbors, small fishing harbors and modern marinas that look just like they do in Sweden or in Denmark. But we preferred the small fishing harbors over the marinas. When we came by boat, and moored up along the local fishing boats, we got some great experiences. 
we always felt very welcome. And in the harbors, we met a lot of people with big hearts. And when we travel in a boat, it is much easier getting some local experiences. For instance, to go shopping like the locals. For us, it was much better than just going to a European supermarket. At the market, we met again the people we knew from the harbor. Hello, Mohammed. Ah. <laughs> All the colors, the smells, and the noise and sounds were wonderful. Our children also had a great time. <laughs> but for Margarita, it was sometimes a bit difficult. I always felt safe, that's for sure. But I think that it's more like they're talking to the men. So if I was alone on the boat and I was asking for something, for example, we were wanting more water, they had to open for a tap before we could get the water. They said, yeah, yeah, they would open for the tap, but it never happened. Then you came home and you said, we need some water. It took like two seconds and we had water on board. And that's kind of frustrating for me. Uh, but on the other hand, you don't have to go to Morocco to experience that. It happens a lot home here in Sweden or Denmark or wherever we go that people are talking to you and are completely looking just through me like I don't know what they're talking about mm -hmm. and um, that's uh, as frustrated here like it's in Africa so actually we don't need to sail that far away <laughs> to see this uh, what's it called man chauvinism in the harbors it's the same in, in Scandinavia northern Europe as it is in uh, Africa actually yeah you could say so. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a tip for us men. We need to let the women into our sport. Yeah, <laughs> do that. <laughs> yes. The capital Rabat was our last harbor in Morocco. It's a modern marina, a little bit up the river Bou Regrec. Mooring in that marina is exactly like mooring in Europe. But the views on the river, sailing to and from the marina, are astonishing. In the end of September, we left Morocco. Yeah. What, what did you feel then? Uh, I could have stayed in Morocco. <laughs> I really liked it. Uh, it was very kind people. In the Medina, we bought some flying carpets. In different colors? In different, uh, I do have this, you know, in different colors. Yes. <laughs> and every autumn, when the temperature goes down, we take out the carpets we bought there. It's not just a way of keeping our feet warm when we are on the boat during winter. It is also a wonderful way to remember Morocco, the beautiful country with all the warm-hearted people. If you want to get my three best tips for ocean sailing, please check the link in the description here. And then I just want to wish you a wonderful day. I think I will have a wonderful day. See you later. Bye bye.